Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for a week commencing the 2nd of September 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, understand why you're here, come out of that spiritual closet to become who you are truly meant to be in this particular lifetime. Now, this week we're going to be using the Magical Unicorn Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, um, as it's my birthday week, happy birthday to me today, um, if you are a um, member of my membership group or you um, are signed up to my newsletter, then do look out for an email and a message where I'm offering a little gift to you um, as part of, as a present to you, from me to you. Um, so uh, do look out for that one and of course I am teaching um, Angelic Reiki uh, 1 and 2 on the 14th and 15th of September. I have one space left so if you're interested in learning this beautiful modality, um, maybe even going on to do 3 and 4 practitioners, um, then please do uh, contact me sooner rather than later to actually book uh, in that last space that I've got available for the workshop. I'm so looking forward, so looking forward to it. And then of course, in November, I am running, or I am teaching Future Life Progression, where you can learn about taking people forwards and backwards in time, future life, past life, as well as experiencing it yourself and gain insights about your life as well. Um, so you can heal some past stuff and see some future stuff. So it's so amazing. Um, out there and uh, look out for new photos just the reason done a photo shoot um gradually putting those pictures out and then yesterday i did hold a uh, uh a guided meditation um free guided meditation at oxy's wood which was absolutely amazing so thank you to the lovely people who came along for that anyway let's get on with the cards so it's always to give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless so, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school a week commencing the 2nd of September 2024? What does everyone, okay, we'll go with that one. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school a week commencing the 2nd of September 2024? Okay, so we've had one card come out. Gosh, second plane coming over. Aren't we lucky today? Okay, so we have got... Family culture, learn more about your family's stories and history. Hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change will make things better. And thankful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for. Okay, so this week um, the cards are really saying that this is about you, your family, your ancestry your community, everything about you. Um, so, you know, what do you know about your family's history? What is in your family's history that is no longer serving you, that is not just stopping you, but stopping other family members from moving forward to live in their true potential in this lifetime? This is a brilliant opportunity for you to learn from that, to start making the changes to heal it, to actually start changing it so the outlook is different, the thought process is different about it. You know, it's kind of like saying goodbye to that old pattern in what has gone on before and saying hello to what new things you can bring, you can create into your life. And by being, a great, and by being grateful and thankful for everything you have in your current life at the moment, um, you, you know, for family, for friends, for the sunshine, for breathing, um, you know, for food, for everything else, by being grateful for all, all of that will really help um, you say hello to the new things that are coming into your life, will actually help expand um, those things that have happened um, 
in in the past so that you can actually move forward fully in your life in, in this moment um so know that everything you're saying goodbye to is the start of something new um and one thing i did learn that this new moon that we've got this uh this coming second and third of september is the last manifesting new moon for the next 18 months so this really is a good time to say goodbye to what no longer serves you what no longer are um uh or what what holds you you know what holds you back what doesn't allow you to move forward this is a brilliant time to clear, cleanse, release all that stuff. Make space for all the new stuff that's coming in, what you want, how you want it to be. So that is sort of like all the family side, personal side, everything, you know. It could be paperwork, it could be personal feelings, it could be eating habits. You know, it could be so many different things. Now is the time to release them, to say goodbye to them. And they may be part of the family conditioning that has come that has come through that is now time to say no enough is enough we say goodbye to that now and we set in motion things for the new generation for ourselves and the new generation that are much bigger and better than what has been before this is saying hello to all those new opportunities and everything coming into um, our life because things will get better when we release old patterns and we welcome and start looking anew it starts coming in and if we're grateful and thankful for everything we've already got in our life what's happened in our life you know we can be grateful and thankful for those family patterns because they've they've kept our family safe you know they've given us ideas they've given us boundaries but now we can release those um and we you know and then move on to the new to be grateful for all the new things the new the new possibilities that can come into our lives now so take the time this week, sit down. What do I feel grateful about? What am I thankful for? Even if it's the smallest thing, because that will help though, this transition um, be a lot easier for you, a lot smoother. So you can, you can go through it much more easier and quicker and bring in all those beautiful new things to you. So really that's all the guidance I'm being given this week for the cards. As always, I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. And you may get a completely different interpretation from them, and that is absolutely fine. So the cards, again, are family culture. Learn more about your family stories and history. By learning about your family stories and histories, you can make changes. You can embrace the positive ones, but you can change anything negative. Hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change will make things better as you release and say goodbye to all those things that are holding you back that are no longer in your life, clearing old paperwork, um, habits, etc. You will see that brilliant new things come into your life as you say hello to them. And be grateful and thankful. Now think about people and things you feel grateful for. Even that person who may have dissed you, dissed you in the past, you know, be grateful and thankful that they, they gave you a lesson to learn. Either you saw their, their true being or they gave you something to think about. Everything that happens to us is a lesson. And when we can look at it as a lesson and be grateful and thankful for it, it's much easier for our life to move forward. So please do let me know um, in the comments or message me privately as to whether the speeding resonated, whether one of the cards stood out more for you, whether you got your own interpretation. I always reply to everyone um, who comments or messages me privately. And of course, um, don't forget to look out for um, your email tomorrow and or a message in the membership group, the trainings that I'm offering. But also don't forget my show, Angels and Destiny. <laughs> nearly forgot that which if you're watching this on Sunday is taking place on Monday the 2nd if you're watching this Monday the 2nd it's taking place 8 p.m uk time and if you're watching later in the week then please watch the replay I've got the most beautiful Liv Wheeler on the show and I'm so looking forward to this conversation so please do join us for that um have a wonderful week I am it's my birthday week today the sun is shining as it always does on my birthday um so 
enjoy whatever this week um, throws at you and be grateful and thankful that you're alive at this time um, because the world is really a beautiful place. Doesn't matter what's going on um, outside, just know that this world is a beautiful place. We have sunshine, rain, birds, animals, love. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.